So let's take a look into a song called Paradox from Alonso del Rio. I'm not really familiar with this song, but I know how he's playing. I can share with you about the chords that he's using. You can go and use this structure to explore and to dive into the field of this song. Um, but there is a lot of change around the song. And this song specifically doesn't have a lot of structure, like it repeats, it repeats like the amount of the bars that he's using. So I think that the easiest way to go through this is literally playing the song and I go and I, I share it with you what he's doing on each of these sections. So from the beginning here, let's take a look. Introduction, it's like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Like and the chord is this. It's a D chord, like D, but the bass is here on the F sharp. And you also have this open string, so it's a D with ninth. change the finger here and now it's a C with 9 but the bass is also on the 3rd so the bass is on the E so D with bass on F sharp and C with bass on E and then goes to C does like a big round of just just this yeah he plays this for a while Yeah, and then when he changes, he goes to that second progression with the C, like here. And notice that he's doing this. get back to the same thing yeah. stays in the same vibe and then go to C D yeah and when he brings the strumming it's like a You can use your wrist to play this strum because it's quite fast. Yeah. And keep holding on C and D. Just that. 
más grande que te pueda entregar. This part. So it's B minor and then you put the bass on the fifth string here. So B minor, B minor with bass on A, go to G, go to D with bass on F sharp and E minor. And then A7. So I don't think that, I don't think there's any other variation here. There's one moment that instead of going that he goes into the G chord. Let's see if I can find it. Same thing. D, G, and C, D, and C. Yeah, then he just gets back into the strumming. And then he goes into the finger picking here. Right. And the finger picking that he's doing is one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, like. So I hope that this can help you to get a little bit more into this song. Let me know if you need any other help, any other support with this one. It's quite a long song and it has his own flow with that. So I recommend you finding your flow with this song as well. So don't be so attached to his like structure. Because he's flying on his structure. He's not really this is how it's supposed to be like. I can I can I can sense that there are some parts that he's just flying and the band and the musicians are following him, you know. So just find that space in yourself as well and connect with the words and the field that this song is creating. So how can you embrace this field and connect with the essence of what you want to express? And why in like these hundreds of thousands of millions of songs that you could choose, you're choosing to learn this one. So how can you connect with the essence of that curiosity that led you to this song? And how can you express this curiosity with your voice, with your heart, with the chords that you're playing, you know? So, enjoy. Let me know if you need any help. Bye-bye.